then the Lord, the word of the Lord came to him. In other words, he had such a relationship with God that when he spoke, God would back him. Young people, open your mouth and prophesy to your friends. Prophesy in the street. Speak life over dead people, dead things, dead dreams, dead relationships. Speak life over over them it's in your mouth so when we come to the house of the lord we just receive that anointing let me just continue mighty god you know when david was anointed samuel came first samuel chapter 16 he came to anoint a king but when the brothers came, none of them were the right one. And, and Samuel asked, is there not another one? I'm sure there must be another one. I'm here to say to you this morning, you are that one. You the one God is calling. You the one God is uh, positioning today. You the one that God is sending. You the one that God has been raising up. You are the one. David was 16 years old when he was anointed to be king. It took him many years before he stepped into the office. Many times the anointing that comes upon your life manifests many years later. The promise spoken over you it's a promise when God speaks something. It's an eternal promise. When God promises you that he's going to do certain things, he will do it. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor is he the son of man that he should repent. Does he say something and does, don't do it? No. He's a God that backs his word. What he says he will do amen even when god said to to the well when moses sent out remember the 12 men he sent out the 12 spies only two came back not everybody operates under this anointing not everyone taps in to this grace that's upon this house some people come here for other reasons but amongst you today i declare that there's a generation that is saying i'm a joshua generation i'm a caleb generation i don't care if if, if 10 of them have a negative report i've got a good report if god said it that settles it if god said it it shall be done i am one of them that believe the word of the lord i preach to you this morning and i say to you you are the one you are the one you are the one god is raising up you don't look to somebody else it is you that is raising up hallelujah he's raising you up for a time such as he's raising you up for a time such as this and so the two guys come back with a good report you report what God says don't report what the crowd says if you want to be someone for God you've got to stand out for him step out of the boat step out of your situation be bold about it i don't care what they think about me i'm telling them god has called me to the nations and many times i say i wish i can just stay home and be at my own church because i love the church god has called me to but many times he calls us to the nations and that's exactly what I hear him saying this morning. That there's men and women, young men and women, young men and women that God is calling to the nations. 
He's calling you to make a difference in America. He's calling you to make a difference in Europe, in Brussels, in wherever, in China, in Singapore. God is calling you today. You've got to be a man and woman of faith. Don't let the devil hold you back. Don't listen to the ten. Don't listen to the crowd. Listen to what God says. He's calling you to the nations. Amen. I wish you could believe me and shout like you believe it. Come on, give me a better shout than that. Amen. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. God promised he's going to use us. And I'm just here to stir you this morning. Tell you, it's now the time. Now's the time. Mighty God. Exodus chapter 32. Let, let's, let's, let's skip that. Let's go to Acts chapter 10. Verse 34. God is no respecter of person. He can use anyone. He's no respecter of persons. He can use anyone. I don't care if your father don't know God, if your mother don't serve God. Listen, Eli, uh, um, Enoch walked with God. There's no history of his lineage, but he walked with God. So I don't care where you come from. You can come from the worst place in Kenya. You can come from the most uneducated family. You can come from the poorest community. But when God gets a hold of you, when God puts his hand on you, when God touches your life, you will never be the same. And if he can do that for you, he can take you places you've never dreamt of. I prophesy there's young people going into nations. I prophesy they're going into cities. I prophesy they're occupying the courts. They're occupying the marketplace. You are occupying the business environment. You are occupying government. You are occupying cities, nations. You're sitting in seats of authority. I prophesy today that you will be going into places that you will be key and strategic in bringing change for the world. Amen. Mighty God. Sure. One thing you must not do. Samson was used by God. Samson just had a small problem. He was sitting on the lap of Delilah. I realize this is the real challenge when it comes to ministry. The enemy will set you up for failure. But God sets you up for success. God will set you up to succeed. And so Samson, he was lying on the lap of Delilah. Many people are lying on the lap of the world. And they want to be used by God. You cannot be used by God if you are sitting in the wrong place. Speaking to the wrong people. David says in Psalm chapter 1, he says... You know, blessed is the man who sitteth not. And who walks not in the counsel of them. We don't listen to the wrong people. We don't sit with the wrong people. We choose our company. It's not everybody that's going to like you for what you stand. But stand anyway. Stand for what is right. Stand for what is good. Amen. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, I believe, is key for what God's going to do through you. The Holy Spirit must come upon you. The fire of God must burn in you. And as the fire of God comes upon you, you must desire this. He says, you shall receive power when the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you. You must desire this. Ask God, I need the Holy Ghost power on my life. I preached this message in America many years ago when I was a young man. While we were staying there, I was invited to preach in many churches. And one of it was where I came, the Lord said to me to tell them that they have economic power. They have social kind of power of influence. They have political power of influence. 
they have military power but one thing they lack is the Holy Ghost power and I'm coming from Africa to tell you you need the Holy Ghost power <laughs> I see you see you must you must be bold about this we've got an anointing in Africa listen the world needs that anointing that's upon your life oh my god I've got in our fellowship of churches we've got young men planting churches we've got two churches in Italy I was in uh, November December I was in America I planted another church in America in New York I'm telling you the Africans are taking over we did not come to take sides we came to take over I'm not coming to be part of your clique no I'm coming to start a new generation a new army the army of the Lord we are raising children of destiny we are raising a new generation it's not just another Africa waiting for a handout no we're coming to hand out one of my daughters was in a conference by TD Jakes spiritual daughter and she was there and they were preaching and the man of God was speaking and she walked up she took a few thousand dollars because they were looking at her as this African girl and she just felt the anointing come upon her life she walked up in TD Jakes's ministry she took a few thousand dollars she threw it she walked like that and she walked back to go sit on a seat that's the generation I'm raising that's the generation we're raising hallelujah she threw a few thousand dollars there she said I'm coming from Africa to bless you <laughs> I didn't come for your blessing I came to bless you amen we're raising up a new generation this is eagles as what you're talking to tonight today we're talking to eagles I'm not talking to chickens here tonight today I'm talking to eagles those who know how to soar they know how to fly they know how to go higher they know how to get their prey oh my god listen the eagle the beautiful thing about an eagle the eagle soars he does not necessarily use his wings to fly he catches the wind to fly What God's going to do through us Africans, it's going to be an effortless success. Effortless. The anointing is going to push you. You're just going to open your heart, open your life, and the anointing is going to lift you. It's going to push you. You're going to go higher. Come on, somebody. Higher. He's going to take you higher. That's what the anointing is going to do. So we are raising eagles. This is the generation. And when I say that, if you are 79, you can be part of the generation. If you are 99, I'm talking to you. So when I say youth, you've got to have that attitude like Caleb. My father said it. My father has gone to be the, with the Lord last year, 86 years old. Before he went, the Lord told me to go and to spend three days with him. I spent three days in the hospital. I sat right where he was in bed. I put my hands on him. I was praying. I didn't want him to go, but I knew he was going to go. The Lord told me he's going. And I sat there. As I put my hands on him, the Lord clearly said to me, I'm transferring the anointing that's in his bones into your bones right now. Amen. I don't know about you, but there's an anointing shut up in your bones. It's in your DNA, man of God. Your father served the, this nation well. Now he's putting it in your DNA. It's in your bones. Ask those that knew Elijah. They brought a dead man. And they put him on the bones of Elijah. And he came to life. Elijah, the man of God, was dead. But there was still spirit in that bone. I speak a, a message. I speak a message about a bone covenant. God goes into a bone covenant with us. Not one bone of his body was broken when he died. When, when a man marries a woman, the Bible he gives us instruction and says, bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. In other words, he's taken out of my rib. 
So she's a bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. I've got to treat her with great integrity and with great respect. Because if I hurt her, I hurt me. Yesterday I ministered to two young ladies in the hotel. They were just greeting me and I greeted them. And I asked them some questions because I was alone. And I thought, let me talk to some people. And since they were two, I felt safe. Because I think I'm a handsome man. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's for my wife. <laughs> and so I said to them, you can find a male anywhere. But they told me they are single. And the one is an investment banker and the other one is a, some other interesting job. And I said, you can find a male anywhere, but you cannot find a man anywhere. Say males you can you can find anywhere a male and a female but a man you got to search for a man and in fact you don't have to search you got to pray for a man I said because a man is supposed to find you a man is supposed to locate you uh, you can look at the story of Isaac you can look at many other stories God will go and send someone to find your man and so a man is something different to a male. I said to them, you cannot just go for lunch and dinner with anyone. I said, and if he dates you, he must date you at home. And if you date him, date him at his house. Because in a restaurant, he acts in a certain way. But at home, you can see how he treats his mother. The way he treats his mother is the way he's going to treat you. I said, and the man, he checks the woman out. And he says, the way the woman treats her father is the way she's going to treat you. I said, if you meet the man, ask him, what's his plan for his life? What's the plan God has given him for his life? If he does not have a plan, he's not meant for you. Because you can't go with somebody that's going nowhere. Or they don't know where they're going. Because the Bible says, Genesis 2 verse 18, God gives a man a helpmate. In other words, the woman helps the man to get where he's supposed to be. And she enjoys the benefits. Doesn't mean that she can't do great things. Her great things complements what he does. It doesn't com she don't compete with him, she complements him. And so if he's not going anywhere, don't go with him. I said, stay home, go. Wait for somebody that's going somewhere. Amen. That's for some young person here. Amen. Somebody here needs to hear that this morning. Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Romans 8 verse 11. And I'm trying to wrap up. Excuse me. I, I feel so much anointing here this morning. Even if I don't say anything. That's how I feel. Even if I said nothing, just being here and releasing the anointing upon you this morning is all I need to do. That's how I feel. I could preach you a nice sermon and give you 17 points and 3 points and closing, but I really feel I just need to be here. There's a, the urgency of the matter is so severe that there's no time for flowery words or well-packaged sermons. Uh, and, and we preach well packaged sermons too we do studies and all these things but today I feel I just need to make a deposit in somebody that this is your time this is your season there is an open heaven over this church this country Nairobi the heavens are open and all you must do is walk in the right relationship with God be in right relationship with God so that you can do like Elijah said, there will not be any rain until I say so. That's relational. You see, the father responds to his children. So when you're a true son, a true daughter, he will hear you. He says, if your earthly fathers know to do good to you, how much more? Oh my God. Listen, if you think your daddy is spoiling you, 
Wait till you see how your heavenly father is going to spoil you. He's going to shock you. He's going to amaze you. They're going to say, who's that? Oh no, why is she walking like that? She can't help but she's blessed. Why is he walking like that? He's blessed and highly favored. He's a son of the most high God. Amen. My God. My God. So look what he says. He says, in the days of famine, you will be satisfied. This is you. When you decide to live 100% for God, be in a right relationship with God, build altars for God, be faithful in your tithes and your offerings, be faithful to the men of God, serve with humility. When you can do some of these critically important things, have a, a godly character, be fruitful, be connected to the vine. If you can do these things, listen, when famine comes to the land, you'll still be satisfied. You'll still be blessed. The rain will be upon you. I don't know if you saw there was a clip in, in Togo. I'm supposed to be speaking in Togo in, I think, two weeks or three weeks. And uh, a, a businessman's conference. And I was looking at Togo. And a few years ago in Togo, rain came from heaven. Did you see that? It came from heaven. I saw a video come from heaven and it landed on one place. Everywhere else was dry. But the rain came from heaven flowing. And it went straight into the ground. Did you see that? Clip. You must go and check it. Rain in, in Togo. The rain coming from heaven in Togo. Let me tell you, God is opening the heavens over Africa. It's opening naturally, physically, spiritually. The heavens are open. It's coming upon your life. Listen, the devil can't stop the blessing anymore. The devil can't hold back your promotion anymore. The devil can't hold back your advancement anymore. The devil can't hold back your money anymore. Your prosperity anymore. He's tried for too long. But today, the power of God is breaking every stronghold, every yoke, every hold of the enemy is broken. I declare in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that every yoke is broken. And the blessing is falling upon your life. Amen. I'm closing to say that God loves faithful people. And so if you want to be loved by God, be faithful to Him. God loves faithful people. Listen, if you don't have it yet, faith it until you make it. Faith it until you make it. God's going to use you greatly. I close with a scripture this morning. Matthew 11 verse 22 to 24. You can read this at home for the week. I like to give assignments because I believe that's how we grow. <laughs> Amen. So Mark... Uh, um, 11.24 Mark 11.24 You know Because we need to understand Faith doesn't operate in time Faith operates outside of time What takes others 10 years Can take you 10 days Faith is a force Faith is a, it's a force The story there in Mark You must read it It really talks about it really talks there about, you know, he says for sure, uh, so Jesus answered and said, then, then he answered and said, have faith in God, for surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. You will have whatever you say. I challenge you this morning to speak some things in this atmosphere. It's in anointings like this where great, great, great things are developed. When you come together in the church like this, open your mouth and prophesy over your own life. If you hear someone, if you hear me prophesying over one person, you don't sit there and say, it's again, sister. No, you say, I'm taking that prophecy for me. I'm taking that prophecy for me. I'm taking that prophecy for me. Say something. In the house of the Lord. I close to say that now faith is. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is. Now. Now. Kenya. Now. I'm not waiting for the new political party. I'm not waiting for the new change. 
Now faith is. I'm not waiting for money to come from my inheritance. Now faith is. Listen, it is now. I close to say with you, when will God heal you? When will God bless you? When will God uh, cause miracles in your life? When will God save your family? When will God change your business? When is he going to do a church? Come shout together. Come on, shout it out this morning. God's going to do it. Hallelujah. Say it again. God's going to do it. When is God going to do it? Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet. Give the Lord some praise. Mighty God. Mighty God. I'm going to pray. I've got one minute left. Make a sandar of a boshi hindi. Robo boshi kendi libindi. Lava basa kandar of a boshi hindi. Koto robo boshi hindi. Rebekita rabondo. Lava bondo libiki. Nabarandiri bokusho. Kiki tabasa tanda rabo bondi, lobo bondi rikia, mata songdo robo biki, tike rando lobo bonda rabo basi hindi, yama mambo ndo robo boshi. I declare this building is coming into fulfillment now. I declare that your people are loose this morning now. Father, I declare this morning that the blessing that has been, oh God, prepared for your people is released now. I want you to speak with faith this morning. Raise your voice. I need to, the heavens need to hear it. Raise your voice this morning. Father, we declare that the blessings that's coming upon my life. Say it now. The blessings is coming upon my life. The blessings is coming upon my life. The blessings are coming upon my life. I declare that the blessings of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow is coming upon my life. I believe that God is opening supernatural doors for me and my family when... I believe that God is using, going to use me mightily. When? I believe that God is positioning me. I believe that God's promoting me. I believe that God's advancing me. I believe that God's increasing me. I believe God is blessing this church. I believe that God is anointing this church. I believe that God is opening doors for this church. I believe that God is pushing us to a higher level. I believe that God is going to do great work in Africa. Come on, one more big shout. Hallelujah. 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 No. 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 Yokes be broken. No. Bonds be broken. No. The sick be healed. No. In Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus! It is in your celebration that you receive your miracle. It is in your clapping that you receive your faith. Come on, somebody celebrate! Celebrate! That was a timely word. More so for the house of bread. And more so for your life. You know, we are used to fiery preachers. I decree and declare uh, uh, all that. But this time, uh, this word was timely. In the fivefold ministry, I saw a prophet. I saw a prophet who came to speak into our lives. And may you receive that word in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you're going through in your situation, at your place of work, at your current situation, receive that word in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Come on. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, I didn't want to talk much about Pastor Steve. I saw his bio, but I didn't want him to talk, uh, to talk much about it. I wanted him to come and uh, uh, download it to us. He's more entrepreneur, he's into business, but today we saw a prophet of Jehovah. 
and come in to speak to our lives. May your life be changed by that word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us appreciate Pastor Steve once again. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. May you be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you, servant of God. We receive that word. And we are running with it. We are walking in it. And we realize and we know that faith is... My situation is changing. No. My promotion is. No. That that word is for me. Because it came at the right time. When he started, he read uh, Romans 1.17. And he told us, the just shall live by faith. And then from there, it is a word of faith. So it is you connecting with that word and telling God, that is my word in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But before... Uh, before you connect to that word, there's another connection where we give Jesus our life. Uh, where, we, where if you're not born again, there's a uh, good opportunity where we are going to pray with you so that if you don't know Jesus, you can come to know him. Because to know Jesus, is, uh, it gives you a gift of life, gift of eternal life. Kama uko hapa, koka, you are not here and you want to connect and you are, you're saying, Pastor, pray for me. I just came to church today because I want to be saved. I just came to church because I don't know Jesus. And you're here, you're saying, Pastor, pray for me. Just by lifting up one of your hands, I will say it from where I am. And we are going to pray together with you. Kuna mnyote yuko hapa, agependa kuokoka. Anyone would like to get saved? And you in our midst this Sunday, this morning. Look at your neighbor, ask them, even if you had asked them earlier on, are you, are you born again? Mulize, are you born again? And if they are born again, let them tell you they are born again. Mwambie nda kupeleka, I will take you to the front if you are not born again. Ukiona anacheka cheka, kifaja hivi, mulize, are you sure you are born again? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Bwana asifuwe sana. You know we are used to church until we forget that there is a mandate that we have. That Jesus is coming back and is coming back for a holy church. You've been told by Pastor Steve that you cannot expect God to use you at the same time you are hanging out with people you're not supposed to be hanging out with. Right? So even in your place of work, challenge the people you work with. Tell them you need Jesus. Look at them in the face and tell them you need Jesus so that they can be born again. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are so much used to church until we are forgetting that soon and very soon, Jesus is going to come back again. Bwana asifuwe sana. If you are born again, lift your hand up and say, yes, I am born again. And I love it. In Jesus' mighty name. It's another time where we want to give at the house of bread. It is planting time. Come on, house of bread. Hallelujah. Uh, it's another opportunity where you are able to give that which you have desired or you came desiring to give into the house of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So uh, as a norm in our house, we, are going, we have these two kind of envelopes. I took two that are the same. There are two kind of envelopes. We have uh, the one that is in pink, uh, in color. It's pink says the house of bread and this one is the one that we use for our tithes for those who are visiting with us or don't know so if you have your tithe and on behalf of the bishop the pastors in the house are going to receive it and we are going to give God all the glory the other one is for so you use that for your tithes and for your offerings and the ushers if you look in front of your seat you should have an envelope or if you don't have just lift up your hands and the ushers in the house are going to serve you in jesus mighty name even as they give you the envelope there's a hand right there there are two hands right there thank you the other one is a thanksgiving is a, i think this is kalagani purple this is purple uh and uh you know men with colors at times we are we don't know but i believe even in color faith is now 
Bwana asifiwe sana. <laughs> so this is color purple and uh, we are if you want to give thanks to God for the men who were in the Kesha, some of them I'm seeing them here. You went to Nakuru for the Kesha and you came back safe and sound. You give you give and tell God thank you. You know, for your children uh, who have been in school the whole of that term, Nasasa wamefunga shule, you tell God thank you for that. I told you the other Sunday you know, you went to the salon or the barber shop, ukanyolewa, aba ukashukwa, na mashini haiku kukata, pa ambia mungu tu wa santi. Weka kitu wapo, ambia mungu wa santi, and God will remember you. Blessed be then, even for the, for the service, even for the word that you have received, just another opportunity of telling God, thank you. I am saying that, and then we have our pay bill on the screen. If you are using M-Pesa, that is the pay bill number. And uh, the ushers are also going to give you a little sleep that we have so that we can, uh, your accounts can be set or uh, the records can be straight uh, with the office. Uh, that is the pay bill number for the uh, account you put tithe and offering and checks. If you're writing a check, payable to Deliverance Church, LCCI. For those who came or don't know, there's a PDQ machine at the back. So... Uh, you have an opportunity to give in every area of your life. Bwana asifuwe sana. There are tithers in the house this morning. If you are tither and you are ready with your tithe, allow us as the pastors, please, to receive it on behalf of our bishop and God will bless you. So if there are tithers, come and let us receive your tithe in Jesus' mighty name. Come speaking and prophesying to that tithe that this is the least I will ever handle in Jesus' mighty name. So as you come into the pulpit, you remind God that this is the least I will ever handle in the name of Jesus. More is coming because we've been reminded faith is now. So as your promotion comes, remember that even your, uh, as your promotion comes, your status is changing, your financial status is going to change in Jesus' mighty name. Let us lift up our tithe up. And decree and declare like we've been told by our father by my tithe I decree that Jesus is alive in my resources by my tithe I declare the devour abound out of my resources by my tithe I declare the windows of heaven open for me the provision of God is my portion the abundance of God is my portion. The wisdom of God leads me in everything that I do. The favor of God opens doors for me. I will lend and not borrow. I shall not lack any good thing. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Allow us to receive your tithe and release a miracle of abundance in your life, in your ministry, in your place of work, and in everything that you do to, uh, in Jesus' mighty name and to the glory of God. We release a miracle of abundance in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God of creation, there are the stars before the beginning of time. Yeah. No point of reference You spoke to the dead And flesh out a wonder of a light And as you speak Father, in Jesus' name, we decree and declare that this 10% that we have brought into your house is blessed in Jesus' mighty name.
as the people have given in accordance to your word that we shall bring all the tithes into the house in the storehouse we decree and declare that their lives are turning around and they are changed in the name of jesus their finances are turning around and they are uh, they are getting better in jesus mighty name we decree and declare that this is the least they shall ever handle in jesus mighty name provide and open their doors and their situation and change their, uh, their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, anyone requiring a miracle, even by the giving that they have done today, may that miracle locate them today in Jesus' mighty name. To the glory, to the honor of your name, we pray, believing and asking in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, we still have another opportunity to give our offerings in the same way we do it every Sunday. That's the same way we are going to do it. Uh, give that which you have purpose to give from your heart. If the Lord touches you and changes your mind to give more, you can go ahead and do that. But we are going to do that. Allow us, the pastors in the house also, to receive your offerings. And you're welcome to start from my left at the back and my right. Let's do it the house of bread way, the same way we've been doing it. And uh, like our father says, don't uh, don't don't be afraid to be the, the, the first one. So ushers, help us, those who are ready, just stand up and come back and come and give your offerings as we are giving unto the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you. Choir, Asante. Hallelujah. Indeed, we are saying we are the salt of the earth.
Jesus. I'm highly favored, highly favored. You say I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored in Jesus. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt. Appreciate our worship team. Yeah. They've done a good job. Amen. Amen. I am the salt of the earth. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. This young girl is called she. She's a young girl. And she's not married. So, Wandugu, uh, there's an open check here. Just see her after the service. Don't be a mambo. And then talk to her. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's, I uh, want her, uh, the, our worship team will be doing, uh, will be having a, next, a worship experience on the 28th of April. I want her for a minute just to talk about that and, invi and then uh, invite you for the meeting. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. On the 28th of April, say the 28th of April. Uh, we will be having a worship experience not we just don't want to say it as a worship team but the house of bread the house of bread will be having a worship experience that is an afternoon of just coming to bless the lord to praise the lord and the theme of the of the of the worship experience is he is alive being an easter weekend it is just giving praise to god and just magnifying his name because of what jesus has done for us i know that every one of us can give a great testimony that because he is alive that you are here you are well and then you can say that now is the time to just give him praise so join us on the 28th come prepared come just ready to worship the lord and come with expectation and i can promise you this the lord will meet you in that service your life will never be the same again hallelujah amen, amen. Thank, you. thank you thank you so much now that worship experience is ours let us come i know people have a tendency of traveling during easter but you have an opportunity to come you say 28 28, of, of 28. so that will actually be after easter so you're welcome because Easter falls, I think, on the 21st, yes, yes, that weekend. Yeah. So 28th, they've done several of the worship experiences here before, and they have turned out to be awesome. The presence of God has really come down in those worship experiences. So it is not just for the choir, like they say it. So it is for the house of bread. Amen. So let's own it like it's ours and come so that we can be able to do that which appertains us. It is your first time to visit with us. Leo di Marayako ya Kwanza. You are visiting with us at the House of Bread for the very first time. And you are just passing by. And you, or rather you saw us on telly or on TV or the one accord to, uh, television. And you decided today I am going to church at the House of Bread. We want to welcome you to the House of Bread. So if we, if, apart from pastor, if there is any other person that is visiting with us, at the house of bread would you show us by lifting up one of your hands oh we have a visitor here karibu thank you we have a visitor another visitor another visitor come on let's celebrate her let's celebrate her is there any other visitor in the house okay there's a song that we prepared for you and we are going to sing it to you now two three go welcome to the last celebration center Welcome to the house of men.
Asante sana wageni wetu. We appreciate you and we love you. Tunafurahi ya kwamba umepata fursa ya kuja kutembea na kuungana nasi siku ya leo. We thank you so very much our visitors. Thank you for making time to come and be with us this particular Sunday. After the service is done and people are walking outside, wewe usiende, tafadhali kuja hapa mbele. Najua umepatiwa form ya green kama hii ambayo nimeshika. So wewe usiende, kuja hapa mbele. Alafu hawa binti ambao wako hapa na huyu mjamaa wataenda kukusaidia pahali ambapo utaweza kujaza hiyo form. This is our hospitality team. We need more brothers. I keep saying ladies. So we need we need more brothers in this team. Brothers, a smile hivi tu kidogo tu. Yeah, hizo smile ni poa mkiwa hapo. So please don't fear all these beautiful ladies here. We need more brothers in this team. Uh, but anyway, that's a hiyo ni mambo ya nyumba tutaongea baadaye. For our visitors, please make sure you come after people are gone. Kuja hapa mbele alafu utaweza kusa, kusaidiwa na hawa ambao wamevaa blue leo na wanaitwa hospitality team so don't walk away just walk in front and god will bless you let's appreciate the hospitality team thank you for a job well done amen amen uh, you are born in the month of uh, march ulizaliwa mwezi wa tatu Wezi watatu safadhali simama. Yeah, amen. Let's appreciate those who are born in the month of March. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank you so very much. I saw a lot of ladies standing up in the month of March. Hakuna wanaume walizaliwa March. Anyway, that's fine. Maybe yenu ni ya next month tutajua. Uh, Mungu awabariki sana. Happy birthday to all those who are born in the month of March. May you have many many more years. You were told by the pastor if you are below 75 or even 99, you are still what? You're still young and it's good to be young at heart. Bwana asifiwe sana. You got married. Ama uliingizwa box. Ama ulikatiwa na ukaolewa hiyo tu mwezi. in the month of March. So you got married in the month of March or you were ingizwa at box in the month of March. Please show us by lifting up your hands or just stand up wherever you are. Ah, Steve. Thank you. Ah, uh, Steve. There's another la last uh, lady there. Wow, let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Wawiri kwa wawiri e. Aye. Wawiri kwa wawiri e. Amen, amen, amen. Asante kwa wale ambao waliolewa na wakaingizana box na kwa mwezi wa tatu. May God bless you. May God bless your union. Someone sat down very fast. They didn't get a chance to be greeted. Hapo nyuma. Umesalimiwa? Okay. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Steve. I remember I attended your wedding. So, thank you very much. Ah... Uh, we want to get into our news and then we are out of here. So media team, please us, uh, give us the news and we will be out of here. Thank you. Welcome to Life Celebration Center International, the House of Bread, where we lift up the name of Jesus and where we operate under open heavens. 
This is the House of Red News. Here at the House of Red, we love our visitors. If this is your first time to worship with us, welcome and feel at home. After this service, please come to the front of the church with the green form you've been given. Our hospitality team will escort you to a room upstairs which has been prepared with you in mind. There you can fill the form over some refreshments as we get to know more about you and you get to know more about the House of Bread family. And if you do not have a church you call home, please feel free to make the House of Bread your church of choice. Our memberships and discipleship classes take place after the services in Bethesda Room and Siloam Room, both upstairs. This sanctuary remains open during the course of the week. Please feel free to come and spend time in the presence of God. Every Monday from 5.30 in the evening, all the leaders meet here in the sanctuary for prayers. Every Thursday starting from 5.30 p.m., we have our prayer service which we conclude with the partaking of the Holy Communion. Every Friday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., all the youth gather in Bethesda room upstairs for Around the Altar Youth Bible Study. A big thank you to the Daughters of the King who met here yesterday for prayers. The Lord bless you. This coming Saturday, the Royal Diamonds will be meeting right here in the sanctuary from 8 in the morning. The Daughters of Faith monthly meeting will be held on Sunday the 7th of April right here in the sanctuary after the second service. Ladies, come prepared for a special time engaging with God and with other sisters. On Sunday the 7th of April, we will have child dedication right here in the sanctuary during both services. Parents with children who have not yet been dedicated are requested to register the names of the children at the park with the ushers. The Sunday School Department invites all children who are between the ages of 5 and 12 to a Kids Fun Day organized by the Nairobi region. This will be on the 13th of April at Ngong Fields. Charges are only 200 shillings per child and is inclusive of lunch and transport. The meeting point will be here at the House of Bread at 7 a.m. Parents, please pack drinking water and snacks for the children. For more information, please contact teacher Christine on 0727 989 967. Ladies in the house, are you ready? The National Daughters of Faith Conference is just around the corner. From the 23rd to the 27th of April, all roads will be leading to Kabarak University in Nakuru. Conference charges are 5,000 shillings per person. Please prepare yourselves for a great time in the presence of God. Landmark Baptist Theological Seminary is a college for current and future spiritual leaders with campuses right here in our premises, offering diploma, certificate, degree, master's and PhD in theology, Christian counseling, religious education and music. Did you know you could study certificate in Bible and theology once a month with an opportunity to graduate in the United States? Yes, it's here at only 1,500 shillings per month, Landmark Theological Seminary, which is right within our premises here at KPCU, is offering this incredible opportunity. For more information, contact 0731-842-123. In the course of the week, please visit our social media platforms, that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube for encouraging messages and to keep in touch with all the church's activities. That's all we had for you this week from the House of Bread Studios. Have a super week and may you walk under open heavens wherever you go in Jesus' name. God bless you.
Let's appreciate the media team. Thank you. Thank you. You're doing a good job, media. We appreciate you for all the effort and work that you're doing. Uh, just to put some more emphasis, I told you last Sunday that is teacher Christine Masili. For those with uh, children and want to go for the, the kids' fun day, please see Mrs. Masili uh, or teacher Christine. That is the lady to see. And don't forget about the worship experience again. I know it's about a month, but let's uh, just put it up in your mind so that we can be able to remember. And uh, again, for all the parents who need their children to be dedicated, please bring them next Sunday on 7th of April. We shall be having child dedication here at the House of Bread. So 7th April is this coming Sunday. Uh, and make sure you bring your children so that we can be able to dedicate them unto the Lord. Do you realize we don't baptize kids, but we dedicate them to the Lord? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, without much ado, I guess we are done for the day. And I would ask you, please, humbly stand up so that we can be able to do the benediction the way we've been doing it the previous Sundays. Are you ready for the benediction? Uh -uh. <laughs> yes, just yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, we'll do it in Numbers 6, verse 24. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Say amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. And may the Lord be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. And may he give you peace. Amen. Even in this week in the entire month, Amen. in the new month that is coming in, Amen. at your place of work, Amen. in everything you touch to do, Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Look for a neighbor and give them your hand and tell them, and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. May you go in peace. Thank you for coming to the service today. Uh, and those who are coming in for the second service, Karibuni Sana. Our visitors, Wale Ambo Walikua, our Geniwetu, Tafadali Kujeni Hapambele, please come in front, our visitors, so that we can be able to have a few minutes with you in Jesus' name. God bless you all.